Section 10b and Rule 10b-5 of the Securities Exchange Act of 1934, or the Exchange Act, prohibit persons from using manipulative or deceptive conduct in the purchase or sale of securities. Additionally, while Congress explicitly gave the Securities and Exchange Commission, or the SEC, the right to enforce Section 10b and Rule 10b-5, the United States Supreme Court has also held that plaintiffs have an implied right of action. In the 1975 case Blue Chip Stamps v. Manor Drug Stores, the court considered whether a plaintiff who didn't purchase or sell a security had standing to bring a private action under the Exchange Act. Blue Chip Stamp Company is a publicly traded company engaged in the business of producing and distributing trading stamps, or stamps that can be redeemed at retailers for merchandise. In 1963, the United States brought a civil antitrust action against Blue Chip and nine retailers who owned 90% of Blue Chip's shares. Four years later, the action was terminated by consent decree after Blue Chip agreed to a reorganization plan in which it was to be merged into a newly formed corporation. Under the plan, the holdings of Blue Chip were to be reduced, and the new corporation was required to offer a substantial number of shares of common stock to retailers who'd used the service in the past but weren't shareholders in the old company. Following reorganization, the new corporation registered for a public offering with the SEC and a prospectus was distributed to all offerees. At the offering, a little more than 50% of the shares of common stock were purchased. Subsequently, Manor Drug Stores, an offeree of the public offering, sued Blue Chip in federal district court, alleging violations of Section 10B and Rule 10B-5 of the Exchange Act. Specifically, Manor argued that the prospectus distributed by Blue Chip was materially misleading to discourage offerees from purchasing its shares. In response, Blue Chip moved to dismiss for lack of standing, arguing that Manor couldn't bring a private action because it wasn't a purchaser or seller of a security. The district court granted the motion, and Manor appealed to the Ninth Circuit, which reversed and remanded. The United States Supreme Court granted cert.